I feel it. I feel good. A lot of people tell me, don't you regret leaving New York, blah, blah, blah. You got so many great musicians there. There's something that's happening here that when I first landed four years ago, I was coming for a 10-day visit. I was like, whoa, there's something going on here. I don't know what it is. I don't know how it's going to pan out. But I just feel I want to be part of it. So I think in the States, because of everything that we talked about in America, the way of life, the system, the, the quasi-freedom that is very restricted in reality, but, uh, uh, music has become an industry. Whether you're playing modern jazz or pop or whatever, it's, you're part of an industry, you f have to fit the mold, you have to fit certain time limits, you have to fit a lot of things. So that creates a general aspect of a lack of movement. You get a lot of proficiency and a lot of know-how and a lot of ideas, but there's a, this kind of... Here, I mean, there's an earthquake happening in the region. A huge one. And you got a generation of guys that are younger than, than me that are pumping. You, I'm getting, I hear... I, this is why I, when I said there's talent and there's intent, when I say talent, that's exactly what I mean. There's intent that they want to make the change, but talent is that they are in the right social, political time with the right spirit to create. The fact that we are, very Western, we are a very westernized region has created a lot of different ideas of fusions, of mixing things, of putting things together. What's happened for us as musicians and as artists in the last... 15, 16 years it has just been, it's a blessing. It's really a chance to be able to breathe again and not feel that somebody, you know, has an oxygen mask and has their hand on the knob. Like, oh, you, we don't like how you're breathing now, goodbye. You know, like, today, I can breathe my own oxygen. And that's nice. So I hope we all stay here and they don't bomb the shit out of us. <laughs>